interview that you talked to Pac before he got killed. Yeah, he, before. You seen, you seen him after the scuffle after. with Orlando mm -hmm. or whatever. Before, he went up and changed his clothes and after it. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. None of them went down there. You know, Nate Dogg was the only Dog Pound member in Vegas at this point. He's the only one. He came down because his girlfriend went down there with me, and he was infuriated. Yeah, he, he was. It was oh, he's like, you. He was kind of, he was you jealous. Mother. He was jealous. Oh, God, type. he's like, he got on that thing. Y'all ain't going to be in no, well, you ain't going to be out on there with Kenya. He, ooh, he was hot at me. Like, oh, you take her down here because we coming to have fun. She can't go. Really? But he. he that was came a big and, fight that night, though. It was party yeah, down there. Mm -hmm. and, but he came down there and had a good time. Wow! So and so he saved he, our lives down there. I believe Nate got us out of there because we thought it was going bad. Nate, thank God, rest in peace, Nate. Thank you, thank God he was there. Because he gave y'all some sense of stability, stability to know how to move. He, he moved, navigated us out of there. Wow! God led Nate down there at that point. So did you talk? I know I seen on another uh, interview that you talked to Pac before he got killed. Yeah, he, before you seen you seen him after the scuffle after, with Orlando mm -hmm, or whatever. Before he went up and changed his clothes and after and you know it, it, he came down and I'm I'm this girl and I'm in this suburban right. I had this world. It was um, a rim and tire place on La Cienega and they tricked my car out. It was dropped, had rims, sounds, and when Pot came down, he was like. Dee. Yeah, you got that he's nigga. To, he said, "Damn, you got that nigga to get you another car, my nigga." And we pound, and he's on the sidebar of my car, and we're talking, and shooting the shit. People in the car. Tasha's in the front. Nate's girl, bumping music, and I remember Pac's favorite song at that point. His favorite song at that moment was "Blackberry Molasses" with Bobby Valentino and that yeah. group, Mister Blackberry Molasses. Blackberry he loved that song. Molasses. And I remember I played that song over and over again for Pac. I mean, the whole ride, I kept on playing it, playing it, playing Because it, it, it was his favorite song. And then he loved Moke and Stuff. Uh, the group Moke and Stuff, he's mine, you made it. Because they were going to sign him to Death Row at one point. But, God, yeah, he, we, we you know. That, that night, we're going to go back to that night, yeah. Ooh, like, like, that night was crazy. because Did you know how they end up, Orlando and him, having differences like they did? Um... It, from what you know, it was over. It was over. It was over a death row chain. I think somebody had got a chain snatched um, at some point, and the person who supposedly did it was there. And I think it sparked from this a gold chain. Wow! So, and you know, you can have ten million people kicking you. I can kick you. You can kick him. But Pac's face resonated. Tupac kicked me. And he kicked me. No, no other faces are recognizable. So but on that video that night, yeah. what you could see, Pac, Pac was lit. And I just, he was like, I, I wish that I know Pac was riding with his boys, but I just wish he never even had got involved in that. Like I wish he was protected as an artist. Like okay, we're gonna right. push you away. Yeah. But you can't push him away. These are my homies. I'm gonna ride with them. There's nothing more, you can do. He was more abdomen. He was more lively than anybody on that. He was video. a true friend. Wasn't trying to hear it. He wasn't going. He wasn't going to no, I'm riding with you. you. You guys are here for me. You've got me out of jail when everybody left me to ride. Correct. You got me all these fancy things. My mom has stuff. My sister, Setra. Everybody is good now. It's because of you. I was wow. rotten in jail. How am I supposed to feel? That's dope. That's dope that he had that loyalty, that he, he had that... He had that sense of uh, he I'm loved down, death row. all the way down with He them. loved them. So they he, protected him. He loved He them. wasn't going to leave death row like he, everybody trying to say at the uh, end. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.